Key number two, the court must maintain good field position. And they have a, an ability to do that this year with probably one of the most outstanding kickers you're going to see. This uh, the Marcus boy, number 17, we were watching him kick 50-yard field goals before the game. He is also an excellent punter. If he can pin the Rangers down, Make up on the broadcast, right. talking on air, and I just happened to look down on the field, and I see all Matt lining up at the 50-yard line, 48-yard line, doing warm-ups for kicks. You He's never. We always talk about that. Every time. That's a key to, uh, in every game. Don't turn the ball over, because then you're going to set up an inexperienced team, especially if you turn it over deep in your territory. They have to go a shorter distance. Than Team captains are now on the field for both squads. The Bishop McCourt Crimson Crushers and the Forest Hills Rangers kick off our high school football season on Sports Radio 850 on the SBO. Pretty nice night to be in Sidman. The rain showers were coming down earlier, but that is cleared up. We just have cloudy skies. The field is in very good condition when you consider the rain. We got 67 degrees at kickoff. And our officials for tonight, the referee is Lou Idosik. Uh, the umpire is uh, Ron Olenok. Linesman will be Barry James. Line judge is Bob Shostesky. Uh The field judge will be David Katyuk. And the side judge for tonight's contest, Tom Fort. Uh, El McCourt won the toss and deferred. Coach Salem said he would do that early if he got the chance. He wanted to kick off with Matt DeMoncos and put their young quarterback in position to run the offense. He did it. And with the deferral, Forest Hills will be receiving the football there in their home uniforms. Gold helmets, the green jerseys, the yellow pants, Bishop McCourt in the visiting uniforms, the white uh, shirts, the gold pants, and the Ryan Miner, who is a speedster, is one of the backs set to receive the kick, also along with Cody Gallagher. And also uh, number 85, Denver Bryden. They have some speed back there. Them in the game as uh, wide receivers. Ball is down. Here is the kick from DeMarco. It's a long drive. Hine is going and coming all the way out of the end zone. Booming kick to start off the season for Matt DeMarcos and no return for the Forest Hills Rangers. Well, so a first and ten for the Forest Hills Rangers as we are just underway. And it looks like Miner is the running back in the eye. The pitch is to Miner, and he looks, he's going to throw the pass, but he's under a heavy rush, nowhere to go, and he skates away. Now he goes up to the 20, up to the 30, breaks the tackle and gets all the way up to the 45 yard line. They tried to flee flicker. It did not work as it was for the Rangers. They break the huddle, and they'll have running back Mike Hayes as the lone back four wide receiver set. The handoff is to Hayes, and nothing going to Bumble. Bumble. The There's a fumble scramble for it, and it looks like McCoy thinks they have the football they're celebrating we got to wait for the officials no they got no it no as uh cut Lowick fell on the football the quarterback saw it sitting there the entire sideline for bishop McCoy jumping up and down but cut Lowick covers on the fumble it's a loss of one he handed off to the back going into the line it was a big hit i believe by number 74 and it's anthony rizzo to so it is going to be a second down and 11 for the rangers the ball is at their 39-yard line. Cut Lowick looking things over. The three wide receivers and one running back. Now they'll break and set into the eye. No, it's a fake quarterback. Cut Lowick back to pass. Throws a bolt on the side. Now wide open, but the pass was too long. Cut 38-yard line. They'll split with three wide receivers into the game. Minor is split to the far left of quarterback Cut Lowick. He's going to throw it to the right, though. The pass is incomplete. It's intended for Denver Bryant. He got it in his paws and dropped it. Doesn't matter because Alan Holman would have tackled him short of the first down, even if he catches that. So it's uh, going to be a punting situation for the, for the punt from the Forest Hills Rangers. And that is Denver Bryden, who is a wide receiver, also as a punter, marking out the signals. The snap is straight and true, and the punt is a line drive kick that is going to drive uh, straight back to his 20. Now he breaks free. He's got some running room up to the 30. Looks like he gets up to about the 31-yard line. He's tackled there, and it's going to be first and 10 for Bishop McCord. I mean, yeah, we settled down play good defense. We're going to have to recreate this quickly. I'll just recreate this. I just wanted to get that first break in. So we are set. Two running backs. Here. Get those 
We are here. Gula and Hawkins will be our wide receivers. We'll give you the offensive line after this play. Is it's going to be a second down and 10 from a court. They have the ball at their 31 yard line. Again, we are a no score. Here's Regula in motion with a two running back set. Head off is to Gelman. He bounces off one tackler. He's trying to get to the outside. Beats another tackler. Fumble. 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 And it looks like Forrest Hills is going to get it. It rolls out of bounds. We'll see if Forrest Hills gets the football. They do. Does, and yep. Forrest Hills did. Gelman dropped the footing in the first quarter. So the second opportunity for the Forrest Hills Rangers. Now they're deep in the fourth territory. First and ten for Kalanowicz with four wide receivers. And Hayes is his lone running back. And off is to Hayes. And he's going to fall ahead for a gain of about four. Nice carry for Hayes. He was hit right at the line of scrimmage by number 61. We are gain now. So we have second down and seven for McCourt. As Kalanowicz is looking things over. Two wide receivers, and a, uh, that is a minor coming to the side, and he gets the football. He breaks one tackle, and he gets a game about eight. That's going to be enough for a first down as he lined up in the slot and then took the handoff court. Now it's another four wide receiver set. They're split way out for Kutlawik. The handoff is to Hayes, and he breaks the tackle up the middle, and he gets a game around five, up to the 15-yard line. Let's see. Kind of hard to spot. No, the 10-yard line. I'm sorry. And then the four-down territory, though. Now again, that's that four wide receiver set Hayes as the lone running back. Cut Lowick looking things over. Again, it's a handoff to Hayes. He's going to try and power it up the middle this time. And the court defense collapses on him. And again, it looks like they're trying to scramble for a fumble. We'll see. The ball, oh. the ball may have come loose. Let's see what they They'll go to, what is that, Danny? It looks like a power eye with minor. Power eye. Power eye with minor is the uh, running back deep in the hole. Third down and one. Here's Miner at the football. No, he's know. hit. He know. breaks one tackle. He's knocked down and he's going to get hit for a loss. Big play by the Bishop McCourt. Crimson Crusher defense. They know it was going to Miner. And they found him in the backfield. Knock him back. And in this football game, he's going to line back up in that power eye formation. Fourth and two again. It is Miner, the deep back. The pitch is to Miner. On the right side, he's running. He's digging. He's tackled. Let's see if it's going to be enough for a first down. Well, he's inside the 10, so it's going to be close. I think he made it. Reskovich, I believe, on the tap. It's remaining in the first quarter, and there is no score. Got Lowick is looking things over. Again, it's that wide set by their wide receivers. The handoff is to the second back, and he's going to try and run to the side, and he's going to be tackled by Shrey. A big tackle from Shrey on John Gallardi. Or no, I'm sorry, that was uh, Cody Gallagher on the carry, and Shrey was not to be fooled. He knocks him for a loss. Big play there on first and goal. Now we'll have two wide receivers uh, split to the left of the quarterback, and he's going to take a rush. pass, and he's going to rush, and boom, down he goes. Under a sea of crimson and gold. Mike Gilman books from the outside, from the outside nickel. Made the big hit. And that's another one. Splits wide to the right, and Miner is on the left side of quarterback Kudlawik, and now Miner is in motion, going over to the right. Kudlawik is back to pass. He's under a rush for blitzing, and he's down. Bam, down he goes, hit by number five, Ray Forgus. The other nickel blitz. See, now that's the nickel or outside linebacker on the other side. The Rangers so far have not picked that blitz up. So you look for Coach Bailey to make some changes on that. And Forgus just came to send them again. I don't know. Three wide receivers set. It's Lanchetti, also minor. That's one of the receivers, but uh, the quarterback is under a huge rush, and down he goes again. Bishop McCourt, Crimson Crushers, didn't even give him a chance to breathe. Brian Kudlowick goes down on the sack, and the Bishop McCourt, Crimson Crushers get their second crack on offense. Here is Joe Arcurio with Shrey and Gelman, his two running backs, and Regula, the wide receiver. It's a handoff to uh, Shrey, and he digs and fights and gets a gain of about three. Again, the starting lineups on offense for tonight, it's Arcurio, Gelman, Shrey, Delich brothers. That's because of one turnover. He wants to establish the run. He wants to do that, and he's starting. Ball's at the 25 of Bishop McCourt, facing a second and seven now. Arcurio barking off the signals, looking things over, just taking his time, and now the handoff is to Shrey. He's got a hole. He's got a man to beat. He beats another man, and this is going to be a big gainer. Here goes Shrey down the sideline, and he's tackled from behind, and he is knocked out of, uh, knocked down. Almost at midfield, let's say he gets up to the 48-yard line. Denny, who came up with that big tackle? John Gilardi for the Rangers saved six points because Pat was on his way. You saw that developing right from there. So we're going to call it the 48-yard line, first and 10 for McCourt in their own territory. They'll be in the eye of Stray as the deep back. Rabula and uh, Gindelsberger are the wide receivers for Joe Arcurio. Joe Arcurio looks like he was going to... Uh, Hand it off, and now he's going to run. run. He's going to run because there's a broken play. He's going to get out of bounds. And number 13 slides past the 50-yard line up to the Forest Hills Rangers 47. 
And uh, he turned something out of nothing because, quite honestly, I do believe the way he turned, that was going to be a handoff, but the running backs went the wrong way. He worked on his speed all, all the offseason, and you saw it evident. He was going to look to set that up, but it, it's coming now. Second down and six. The ball is officially at the 49 yard line as Arcurio. Two wide receivers, Gittlesberger, Regula, and they're in the eye with uh, Shrey as the deep back. Yelm was the blocking back. And it looks there like it's the option, and Joe Arcuri is going to keep it. He's going to try and get to the sideline. Big hit, as he's only going to get a gain of one, and he was really select by number uh, six, Jason Pepsunic. We've seen him before for the Four Stills Rangers. He's a hustler, and he really put the wood to Joe. And McCourt will send a three wide receiver set, and Hawkins. Look for him to try to hit one of these backs out of the backfield. Right? Hawkins, the wide receiver on the side, and there's motion up on the court. Player moved a tribute to Yeah, third down and four turned into first down and ten. Now McCork can resettle back in their eye formation. Trey is the deep back. Arcurio under center, barking out the signals, looking over Hawkins as a receiver. The handoff is to Trey, and Trey's not, not going to get much. Not much there. Fine play by the Forest Hills Rangers defense, coming in number 67. Uh, Madeline Gittlesburg. There's a lot of speed out there now at the wide receiver, Al. A lot of speed. Uh, second down and ten. It's Gindelsberger is in motion on the left, but the handoff again is to Shrey, and again they corral him, and he falls ahead for a gain of only one. Support will break the huddle on a third and nine. Obvious passing situation. We have 23 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Arcurio with three wide receivers in. Barking out the signals. Home is on the way, but the pass is to the he's side. He's got him. Regola is wide open. It's caught. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He's at the 5. Knocked out of bounds at the 3 yard line. Joe Arcurio. So Ryan Regola on the sideline. Wide open. Threw a little flare to him. Regola catches it. And he doesn't stop till he's out at the 3 yard line. Well, he lined up on the left side over here. Cut across the middle. Cut across the field. Was wide open. Going to his right. Okay. Make this a 60 day. Okay. Fort yard line. It's going to be first and goal. The ball was at the four. Shrey is the deep back as they're in the eye. Gindelsberger is in motion. The handoff is to Pat Shrey. Yeah, he's going to dig. He's going up the middle. Doesn't get much. Gets maybe a gain of one, setting up a second down and goal for Bishop McCourt. Exact same spot practically that Forest Hills was in with a. With a Second down will give him no gain at the uh, four yard line. Second down and goal. Shrey again, the deep back in the eye. He's got another hand off to Shrey and he doesn't get much there as the first is to do defense. Does another good job surrounding him and uh, Shrey just falls ahead for a gain of about a half a yard. So that won't do the job and it's going to be third down and goal. And really, not much of a game, so we'll say third and goal from the four. And uh, they'll split the running backs. Gelman and Shrey behind Arcurio. Here is Gittlesberger in motion. And it is the it option. Is the option. He's out to uh, Gelman. Drops the football. Yeah. And he's yeah. off for four off. And all the way back to the front of the yard line. There's a pitch that just didn't get in the right hands. He's going to kick it at a bit of an angle. Shrey is going to be his hold. Lining up for the 32 yard field goal. Ball is snapped. It's down. The kick is up. It's a long no. kick. It hits the post and it's no good. Thank you. I'm going to watch because I don't know if this mic's here. The Rangers are going to on track. So they'll come out with one running back and three wide receivers. Here's Kudlawick again. He's rushed and bam, down he goes. McCourt defense comes flying in. I think it was Delich on the tackle. Number 85. He just came in and just that three wide receiver set. McCourt's defense spreading out and Kudlawick is back to pass. He's under rush and he's throwing a high pass. It's too long. Shrey's trying to pick it off and it's too far for him. Pass was intended for Ryan Miner. There was nobody going to get to that. Shrey might have had a chance to back at the 50 yard line to receive this kick from Denver Bryden. Bryden with the punt. Ball snapped straight to him. And this is a good punt. It's high. Shrey's going to take it at the 50. No, he's just going to watch it. Hit the ground and go out of bounds at the 49-yard line. That's where McCourt will take over first and 10. When we come back from this break, we will end the second quarter. That last one, yeah. Here's the chef. Here's the principal. OK, I got to recreate this. got to pay attention. Uh-oh, one back. So we got Shrey lined up as a, as, a, as a receiver. Stay outside, get him. He caught it. 
Back to action here at Forest Hills High School as Joe Arcurio was under a heavy rush on a first and ten and threw a flare down the field and sliding and making a great catch was number 34. On one back, that was Gilman, and they lined up Pat Shree on the right wing, put him in motion, caught the uh, Forest Hills defense a little bit off balance, and they hit the tight end. Matt Sheridan lined up as a tight end on that play. Gindelsberger and Homan are the wide receivers. Shrey and Gelman, the running backs for Joe Arcurio. The running backs are set, but Arcurio's back to pass. He's in the pocket. He's under a heavy rush, and down he goes. He got past two defenders, but then number 67 for the uh, Rangers coming up. Uh, Matt Dombrowski's had a heck of a game so far, and he knocks Joe for no gain. Actually, a loss of one. So we'll call it second and 11 from the 35-yard line. But there, there's what we've seen. Why risk a turnover? Big play by Pat Trey. There was a case there. Maybe a year or two, Joe would have tried to throw in that ball. He saw nobody's open. You take the loss. And you live to fight again. And you buddy. live to fight again. Second down and 11 from the 30-yard line. Arcurio again back to pass. This time he has time, and he finds Regola and a bang right to him as uh, Regola is tackled at the 22-yard line. Boy, what a beautiful route and a beautiful pass from Joe Arcurio to Ryan Regola. It's complete at the 22-yard line, and then Regola goes down. About the 18. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Put this. yeah, inside the 20. At the end. Good. Good. Right. Right. Isn't it? You know what? That wasn't that pretty. It just, it just looks so. Natural, just you know, nice, fluid. Yeah, he just, you know, a year ago he was trying to throw in that ball. You see number 13, right? I'm sorry, you think no one Yeah. To take a loss. Right, Not just don't try to force something and turn the ball over because you know you're in four down territory. That's where that maturity is coming into play. He, uh, he's looking like a. And you know, not a high school senior, he's looking like a sophomore in college right now with his boys. And I tell you, the, and then he comes back with a big pass there to Ryan Rabula. And uh, just uh, J-Dogs, his quarterback, is the quarterback coach of the Forest Hills Rangers. So we got the J-Dogs connection here today. And, uh, Jeremy's coaching, I believe, receivers. And, uh, receivers, and Justin coaches the uh, quarterbacks. <laughs> so we got the pro touch here. The J-Dogs are represented by the high school Plus, football. Coach Bailey has son Derek on his staff also from last year, if you recall. Yeah, the quarterback. Right. Joe Arcurio with Gelman as the lone running back as it's now going to be a first and 10 for Bishop McCourt. Fake handoff to Gelman and here is Joe Boyce. He is showing some speed as he's rolling to his left. He throws to the end zone and he saw he had nothing. He just threw it into the stands, threw it to the kid sitting. 10 yards and uh, then work your way toward the end zone. Right. Gelman the lone wide receiver and Shrey is in motion going over to the left. And it's a handoff to Gelman and Gelman stays on his feet he's and he's digging. And he gets up to the 15-yard line, inside the 15. <laughs> oh. Precious burned another one. What are you thinking? It is third down and four from the 11-yard line, according to Four Stills territory. And here is Arcuro throwing a flare to the sideline, and it is, is it intercepted or caught? Shrey catches it, and he's knocked down, and there's also a flag on the play. Look like the... As Gelman is the lone running back, and Shrey lines up as a wide receiver. And here is Arcurio. He's under a rush. He's rolling. He's thrown to the end zone. It's caught by Shrey. No, he no. dropped it. I thought he caught it in the end zone. It just popped out of his fingers when it came down to the ground. That made a big effort. Goes trying to come up with that ball for the score. And just two, half. two opportunities on the road. You really got to cash it in. Especially against the Don Bailey coach team because you didn't know that. In the I formation are the McCourt Crusher, Shrey, the deep back on second down and goal from the six. Arcurio barking out the signals. And it's a fake handoff. Joe is rolling. He's under a heavy rush. He's got to get away. He does. He's rolling to his right. He throws to the end zone. And Gittlesberger almost comes up with it. No, he's not inside uh, of the ball, though. He's saying that Arcurio didn't get knocked out, lost for a sack. Uh, and that would have knocked him way back. As it stands, it's going to be a uh, third down and goal from the six yard. Third and goal from the six. So now they're trying to throw three wide receivers into the game. It's Homan. Regula to the right and Gittelsberger to the left. Arcuro straight back in the pocket. He throws. He's got a man. And oh, is he hit? And it's incomplete. Looking for Ryan Regula. He was open for his on with the 23-yard attempt. Trey will be the holder. There's some movement on the line, but the ball is snapped. The kick is up. The kick is high. And that kick, no good. No good. This time, he went to the... looking to get some offense going. Maybe they can get the ball going in their side. Here's Kalawak, back to pass. He's going to throw a long pass up the middle. It's too far. Trey is all just off his fingertips. 
Trey was trying to get to it for the uh, interception. And it falls incomplete. What they're trying to do, Denny, correct? Holman will line up against him, and Trey will also be looking at him as he's back to pass. He's going to throw a sideline pass to Mays. It's a screen, and let's see if he gets enough for the first time. No, I don't believe he made it. Uh, is closed real well. Through the screen to Mike Mays. Standing. Not standing. Though. So Holman and Trey will be back to receive this punt from Bright, another good kick. And this is gonna be way over the head of Holman. He's just gonna to have to let it roll. Now he picks it up, and he drops the football, but there is a um, fourth player there to fall on it. Number five, Ray Forges, drops down and catches, uh, covers up the football at the 23 yard line. He did a 52 yard, 52 yard wow. kick. So the ball is back at the McCourt 24 yard line. Joe Arcurio, the ball is fumbled on the snap and he's gonna fall on it. So a mishandling of the snap between uh, Barris and Arcurio and Arcurio just has to. So here is Regula and Gittlesberg are the wide receivers and uh, Gelman and Trey are the backs. They're split. Joe Arcurio, fake pass. Now he pumps and goes. They're going down the sideline to Regula but he's covered. But he, oh, does he come up? No, he almost come up with the football. He was double covered. And the uh, one defensive back for Forest Hills pops out of there, Eric Trout. And he was complaining that uh, uh, what the court decides to do here is this is uh, they're facing going three and out for the first time in their own territory. Joe Mercurio has two running backs behind him and two wide receivers split to his left. Marking up the signals and it is going to And coming up with a carry number 40 for this is the 40 is going to be short of the first down. And that was Mark Mauer? No, I believe that's No, I'm sorry, that's Patrick. Patrick on the carry, I'm sorry. Right. 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 Tomacos right. will be back to punt, back to receive the kick. Yeah. Will be Ryan Miner and also Denver Bright. Oh. And it is a line drive kick that Miner's going to come up on and then take away. Then Bryden takes it at the 27 yard line tackled instantly by the Bishop McCourt special team. I don't know about that decision. <laughs> You're looking up at his five is in half the McCourt special team. Undoubtedly. Love the Point Stadium and I love being here in Force Two. Here's the quarterback with a flare and it gets past the defensive back and uh, coming up with the test. Number 80. Uh, the right side and uh, it was just a laid up ball. You got to run under a catch and catch he, he, he laid it out. Get caught. It. Forest Hills will come out of the huddle with two wide receivers now. And the handoff is to Hayes and Hayes is not going to get much. Hayes stops him for a gain of about a yard. So it takes the football just shy of the, what is that? About the throwing the ball a lot more than we used to see. So it's going to be second down and nine. Now the three trips right, three wide receivers split to the left of Maori. They're going to throw a quick flare to Brian. And Brian breaks free and he could go. Oh, the ball's in the air and Brian broke and he might have caught it back. As he, he did. Was hit he did. At the 20 yard line, the ball popped loose and then Brian falls on it at the McCourt 18 yard line. It's still enough for a first down. Yeah, well. Quarterback is back to pass. He's rolling. He's got lots of time, lots of space, and he throws, and it's going to take the line here. Inside the 10 yard line, and number 85, 10 here in the flat. Well, their football here, number 11, in this area. Range, love to see score here. First and ten. Here's the talent going to the end zone. And Intercepted. Holman comes up with a turn away. The Forest Hills Rangers and Holman comes up with a big pickoff to step right in front of him. Intercepted. We've seen, uh, I think, McCourt and Forest Hills have been in the red zone twice. Today. Twice each. Twice each inside the ten. With first downs. And that was a huge interception, though, by Holman. And that changes the complexion of the football game for the second half. Well, what are the Crushers going to do? Well, are they going to run the clock out or are they going to throw it? First and 10 from the 20. Here's Joe Arcurio. No, there's He's your answer. To throw, and Regola is going down the sideline for a high pass. And it's He's caught. caught. It was tipped off of Ryan Miner. And Ryan Regola comes up with the pass. Miner was coming up to take the interception. Regola takes it away from him. And he's down at the 43-yard line. And we have a flag on the field. 
<laughs> you try it again. I think Forrest Hills has one more timeout remaining, if I'm not mistaken. They, have one. they have one timeout remaining. So yeah, that's all McCord has, I believe. One. Yeah, so so McCord decides to uh, run the ball here on first and twenty. They'll burn their one timeout. I believe no, he's just, just gonna, gonna take a knee. He's gonna take a knee. Yeah, that's it. See four stills this time. The ball is on the tee. We're waiting for the second half kickoff. We'll see if it goes all the way back to Strayer Holman or to one of the upbacks. Whistle's blown and we are set. Here is the that kick. Doesn't that doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me. Short yeah. kick and uh, I don't know if he meant to kick it that short because it was taken right at midfield, the 50-yard run, and it was covered up. You know what? I by uh, Woodruff. No, no, Joe Hakiko, I think, covered up. 49-yard line to start off the second half. You couldn't dream of better field position. The way this football game is going, I don't think I'd want to have good field position because nobody's taking advantage of it. We have four wide receivers into the game. That's the 44. Though. And that is uh, Yellman getting nothing. Nothing. He is on the carry, and he got yeah. nothing. We'll call it. Ten. No game for Gelman on that carry. And again, four wide receivers into the game, and they're going in the shotgun. Here is Joe Arcurio in the shotgun. He's back to pass. He has to step up. He's under a rush, and he's going to carry it. And carry it, he does for a gain of four, and he is tackled hard by the Forest Hills linebackers, but he pops right back up again. Your heart just kind of game, and that's what they're going to again. As we have two wide receivers. No, I'm sorry. Joe is going to line up under center with the two running backs and a man in the slot. But Arcurio is back to pass. He has time. He fires a bullet. It's just off the fingertips of Gittlesberger. It's incomplete. That brings up fourth down and five. Tempting here, but I think of Denver Brighton and Ryan Miner. As it's going to be fourth down and five from the court. Ball is right at midfield. So DeMoncos looking to try and punt McCourt and pin back the Four Steels Rangers. He's kicking to the sideline and is taken by Bryden at the 10. Holman's trying to tackle him and he does at the 18 yard line. So the Four Steels Rangers come onto the field with their first crack on offense in the second half. Four Steels Rangers are now back onto the field with a first and 10 from their 20 yard line. We're in the third quarter and we are scoreless. USBO Johnston, I'm Al Steele, and Teddy Oldmore. Here is the handoff to Hayes. 13 on the carry, and he's going to run down the sideline, get a gain of about eight or more on the carry for the Rangers is Cody Gallagher. And we'll see where they knock him out of bounds. I think he's going to be just shy of the first down. Actually, he got a gain of nine. He's right shy of the 30 yard line. So they'd like to get an offensive series going right now. They have three wide receivers, and the handoff is to Mays. And Mays digs the football. It's down on the ground, and there's a fumble. And McCourt has the football. Coming up is Delich, number 88, with the cover. I think 42 came up with the ball, I think. Well, it is covered, and, and uh, while we were at break, Denny, I was saying that a, a turnover, turnover could turn his game around. There it is. But the ball still remains at the Forest Hills 30-yard line, and quite honestly, every time McCord has traveled down this part of the zone, they've come up with no points. But you see, Coach Bailey knows he needs to establish the win. That's why he's trying to do that right off the second half. He just got the misfortune of a turnover. So Gelman is the front back and Shrey's the deep back in the eye. The pitch is to Shrey's running to the left side. He's under a rush. He breaks the tackle. He's hit with another. I believe there's a flag. There is as uh, Shrey is tackled after a gain of five. Gets the ball to the uh, wall. Give him a gain of four and that gets it up to the 20. The penalty occurred. A yard behind the line of scrimmage. So that takes it back to, let's see here. That's a, 40, 40, I think that's the 41-yard line. Brings, brings up the first, first and 21, you There's 21 for the court in a scoreless game. They're still in Forest Hills territory, and they line up in the shotgun. The ball is snapped, and it's down, and Joey Curio can't come up with it Forest Hills well. The shotgun backfires there as the ball came up. The line up right now, three wide receivers. The ball at the 49-yard line. They could get a big play right here for quarterback Brian Kalawa. No, Kalawa is back to pass. And he is trying to throw a long pass down the middle. He has a man, Brian, but it's too far. Brian gets past Gittlesberger, and it's incomplete. And they're not getting much yardage. Second down and 10 for the Rangers at the 49-yard line. Kalawak is back to pass again. He's going to be under a rush. He's rolling, and he's going to get knocked down. He is Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo knocks him down for a loss of 12. Or I'm sorry, a loss of 7. We'll see where they spot the football. It's going to be a big loss anyway. It'll bring up a um, third down. 
and we'll call it. On a third down and 17, the Rangers line up again with a three wide receiver set, one running back. Kalak is back to pass, and down he goes again as the McCourt defense just comes in, and they're doing a job tonight. 63. I tell you, the McCourt defense, they're hungry. They're, 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 they're just like junkyard dogs, just jumping in there and just pounding the quarterback. And then no pressures, uh, the pressures may have went into a... Stills Rangers is uh, going to be number 85, Denver Brian Boyce. He has a great job punting the football. He's back going off a 53-yard field with the pressures. Brian dropped the football, but he was yeah, but under a no run. Right, yeah. So he gets off a line drive kick. Go, 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 roll and roll and roll and might make the end zone. No, it doesn't no. look like it. It's going to go all the way down to the three-yard line where the four stills Rangers drop on it. That's just a lot. 7.57 is what we have remaining in the third quarter. He's trying to look, yeah, look it out, Al. Yeah. One running back, and that is straight. Right. The off is to Shway, and he digs, and he does get some running Shway back. off the left side of the line. line. That's a, good That's first a fine down. first down carry. Fine, very fine first down carry. Now to put you in second and short. Go, all right. He's making it from the court. Going and straight. 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 Trey is the deep back. Arturio's other center parking off the signals. And where's the handle? It is Gelman. And it That's is Gelman. Gelman on the carry. Gelman and Gangle Buckley. Shannon's going to have a tight end. Arturio's under center with two running backs. Goes down in front. And he gets back to pass in the pocket. Looking for something to throw for. Oh, yeah, he's got the Sheridan. It's too much short. It's incomplete. Arturio has. And it will. Miner and Bryden will line up about the McCourt 45-yard line to receive this kick. DeMarcus is standing midway through the end zone. The 17, the big punter for Mr. McCourt needs a big punt here. Good snap. And he gets off a good booming kick. And that's a great kick because it's driving Ryan back and he drops the football and he finally picks it up back at the 25-yard line. Now he's got some running room down the sideline gets up to about the 45-yard line. Good return by Brian, but an even better kick, though, by uh, Matt. The Thanks for listening. Friday Night Football. And Lowick, the quarterback, with a handoff, and it's a rare run. Down goes Mays again. Mike Mays has been getting a lot of pounding tonight. Kreskovich and Hockey Pro, the two junior inside backers were all over that play. And these coaches know, you know, this, you know there's eight more games after this, and hopefully more you have to establish the line. Kalowski trying to throw, and it's intercepted, intercepted. by a linebacker for Bishop McCourt, Hockey and throws. he's got some running room. Hockey goes, going down the sideline, he could score. Here goes Hockey, go down to the 10, he's caught from behind. He is tackled from behind, but Joe Hockey go comes up with the interception and takes it all the way to the Forest Hills 10-yard line. And that's the big turnover that Bishop McCourt really needed to do. Hockey coach just stepped in front of that pass and down the sideline he went. Yeah, but he didn't get sucked in on the play fake. He played his position, he had the ball, he was throwing, he was throwing, he was and had the presence of mind to tuck it in and turn it up the field. And he goes rumbling all the way down to the 10 yard line where he was finally cut. Everybody's a personal friend of yours. Though. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go from McCourt, first and 10. Uh, first and goal from the 10, it's Arcurio, is under center. He hands off to Shrey, and Shrey digs, and he's going to get a gain of maybe two. Really can't get his feet going when you have all those defenders at your legs, but Shrey does fall ahead, and we'll see if he gets to about the eight yard two in the first spot. Again, it's just go where to run. It's hard to see. It, it got to the five. That's right. So it is a game. I'm waiting for everybody to clear out and then try to pick it up for you. They're at the six yard line. The handoff again is to Shrey, and he's dancing. This time he's tackling in the uh, behind the backfield. That won't be a loss as he's taking back to the eight. So it's going to bring up third down and goal from the eight. Third down and goal from the eight yard line. Joe Arcurio, the quarterback, they're lining up in the eye. Regola is in motion. Ball was snapped, and Arcurio keeps it himself, and he's going to try and sneak it in, but he doesn't get there. He gets a gain of. Well, we'll see if they give him two or three in the gain. Might get to about the about the five yard. 22 yard field goal attempt. Trey will be the holder. Ball is snapped. It's down. The kick is up. The kick is high. And that kick splits the upright. And it is good. Matt DeMarcos, the 22 yard field goal, has broken open this scoreless game and given the court the three to nothing lead. It's only a field goal, Denny, buddy. In the case you have to get the big turnover, you do want the six. And, uh, but when you can't get the six, you take it. Interception by Velocco into three points. 
and they get the first lead for either team in this football that they'd be looking for. So Matt DeMoncos after with the kick, is, has the ball on the tee for the kickoff to the Forest Hills Rangers. They have three backs, Matt Miner, and also uh, Bryden, and Corey, Cody Gallagher back to receive his kick. And DeMarco slips on the kick. The ball is going to roll to the 20 yard line. It's touched by a Ranger, and then it's going to roll out of bounds at the 19 yard line. Well, if he touched it, then there's no penalty. No penalty. Right. <laughs> so, Kutlawik is the quarterback. And he'll have two wide receivers split to the opposite side. They'll be in the I formation. It's the pitch to Gallagher, and Gallagher, no, that's Miner in the backfield, and he is going to do some cutting and make some moves, and it's a nice game for himself. For a gain of five, gets the ball to the 25-yard line. They'll line Miner up in the back. Miner stays back in the deep back in the eyes. Mike Hayes is the blocking back. And again, it's another pitch to Miner, and this time he's trying to go to the right side. He does find some more running room. No, actually, no, he closes hole on him quickly. He only gets a gain of about one or two, and that sets up a third down and three. But the way this football game's been going down in half after the DeMonco's 22-yard field goal. Cut Lowick has his running backs in the eye. Miner stays back, but here is a pass to the sideline. It is caught by Denver Bryden. That's enough for a first down. And he is tackled by Trey and Homan. But that is a fine pass by tackle. But again, they're back in the eye formation. Ryan Miner, deep back in the eye. But they'll go for the pass to the sideline. It's a bull and it's thrown and it's intercepted. It was tipped and intercepted by Bishop McCourt. Defensive lineman Rizzo got his hand up and it's intercepted by Delich, I believe. Number 85, Brian Delich comes up with the interception and McCourt has the football in Forest Hills territory. And it was intercepted by Delich. Rizzo did get the call, but Dallas comes up the interception, so McCourt gets the turnover, and they have the ball. The Forest Hills will call it 44-yard line. They're leading three to nothing. Arcurio, two wide receivers, and Gelman is the lone running back. Gelman with the carry, and he dives ahead for a gain of about three. Takes the ball up to the 40-yard uh, line, and it's going to be second down and seven. Down here, and four, 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 four. They get the game in hand. And that is going to be the end of the uh, third quarter. And Forest Hills 36 yard line. Joe Arcurio on second down and seven is in shotgun formation. He is back to pass. He throws a flare and it's caught by Regola as Regola makes up a wonderful catch as he was hit just as he got the ball. That's going to be close, though. Depends on the spot. As he was just corralled by uh, a lot. I'm very impressed with Ryan Regola's uh, uh, concentration tonight. We knew about his athleticism. His concentration has been phenomenal. Third down at one, Arturo, the quarterback keeper, he falls on the quarterback. More than enough. I tell you, Denny, though, I would, there's, if there's one thing that I would pray for, that they'd have yard markers on the field yeah. for every game we do. That's, that's the only thing that I would ask for. Well, I can see, there's the 20, L. There's yeah, the 20. Looking shotgun with a four wide receiver set on first and 10. Arcurio looking cool in the pocket. He throws down the middle and it's caught by Regula again inside the 10 yard line. Reception to the eight. And Regula and uh, Arcurio are in a zone. Right now. They are just clicking, and I don't know what world Ryan Regula is living in right now, but it's a nice place to be because he is just really he's focused. He's running great routes, and Joe is at the, I believe, the six yard line, so it's going to be first and goal for McCoy. They're in the I formation. Gelman the up back, and Shrey is the deep back. Regula is in motion. Arcuria, he gives it to Gelman, and Gelman stays on his feet. And Gelman is in the center of the line. Looks like he gets inside the five to see where the spot is. It's fine running by Gelman. Didn't get much more. Kept moving, trying to get what he could. No problem. And it looks like it is. Now we're going to have a four wide receiver set as we're in the shotgun. Arturio is deep in the pocket. Ball is snapped. He's under a rush. He throws to the end zone. Touchdown! As Pat Trey catches the curl inside. And McCourt breaks the end zone and gets the touchdown on the five-yard touchdown. Lined up on that wing again and just uh, faked a little block. Cut across the big extra point here. Yes, Matt DeMarco is on the train. Even 40 10 0 the way. Ball is down. The kick is up. The kick is high. And that kick is good. good. Bishop McCourt gets the first touchdown of the game. We'll be back with more right after this on 850 WSBO. Four receptions for 80 yards, and he is just in the zone tonight. And Acurio now 6 of 14, 102 yards, and a touchdown. 
So here is Matt DeMontos with the football on the 40 yard line. He's gonna kick off to uh, Bryden Miner and also Gallagher. Office. We're getting set. There's the whistle. All game breakers, those guys you just named, too. Yep. And the Montos, a line drive kick right up the middle. Line and they six. Ten yard line. He's going to run up to the middle. And he breaks the tackle. And he's up. And he's just a shoestring tackle. Almost broken all the way. Gets up to the... Uh... So it is a first and ten for the Rangers. They're trailing ten to nothing. And here is Kamala pumping. He's under a rush. He's got a sack. Down he goes. Who comes Delic. up with the tackle? Number Delic again. Delic again. Justin. Justin Delic. Justin Delic comes up with the big sack as Kudlowski did the pump fake and then Delic. he didn't have time to get the pass off as Delic just knocks him for a loss and that is a loss. See the score play, now you got the momentum. Mm -hmm. Now it's up to the Rangers to seize it back. Yeah. That's Ray is the lone defensive back and his uh, quarterback is under a heavy rush. Yeah. He goes again. And the McCord defense is just yeah. overwhelming the force those Rangers offense. 82, Jay Strap. That was number 82. Jay Strap. Jay, Jay Strap. So he sucks, knocks him for another loss, and that's a loss of another 743 remaining in the football game. They need a big play on Brian wow. Kalawa. Third and what, 20? 20, we'll call it 25. Kalauk is going to go back to pass. He rushes on. on. A heavy rush and down he goes. The ball was loose, but they're going to say that he was tackling. 63. Uh, 63. Three comes up with the tackle. The ball was actually run in by McCourt's defense for into the end zone, but the quarterback was down after Earl Berkebaugh with the big rush. And I'm sorry, the ball was dropped after the quarterback was Right, right. They called it down and. Uh, so a big okay, that's what Coach Bailey does not want. He will correct that this week. Denver Bryant, it. who's really done a great job punting tonight for uh, Forest Hills, is all the way back in the end zone. And Trey and Holman are at midfield looking to receive this punt. Snap is a little high, but Bryant gets it. And he almost has it blocked. It might have been tipped because it is a short kick. And it's going to come to the Forest Hills 40-yard line roll up. Or I should say the 37 and uh, be down at the Forest Hills. What is it? So here's McCourt with the I think one. Didn't they take one earlier? And one just we now. Only one time. Right. One. Uh, it's going to be a flag. Is the, uh, and, uh, say something. That, 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 those kind of plays will not set well, I yeah. guarantee you. That will draw the, the real ire of it. It certainly will. Okay, so it's first and 15 now as the ball is at the 47 yard line. And the handoff is to Mike Gelman, and he's going to yeah. dig and get a nice gain of five. He gets it back to the original line scrimmage. And he also is going to block well after they get reset here. According to Denny, so it is going to be second down and ten for the Port Rogola. The fine game tonight is in motion. Gelman's the low running back, and Arcura is looking to pass. He's under a heavy rush. He's going to run. And there he goes down the sideline, and he could go. He's at the five. He's in the end zone. It's a touchdown for Bishop McCourt. Joe Arcuria turns a broken play into the touchdown, and the Crushers are crushing the night in Forest Hills. 39 yard run by Joe Arcuria. There, there's that speed we talked about. He worked on it, worked on it. Was no more evident than on that play. And he just broke loose, and he did look like a speedster down the sideline, and he goes all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Unbelievable for Bishop McCourt how they have just. Big play Huge. by Joe Ar he, ran, he ran away from the linebackers and the secondary and everybody else. It was a beautiful run. Hell, believe it or not, versions. That's not enough. Four steals needs three scores now. So see what kind of a kick the Marcos comes up with. Is he gonna do a squib kick or is he gonna try and boom it into the end zone? Booming into the end zone if we can get it there. It boom it. It's a high kick. It's all the way back to the goal line. And Brian's going to come up to the 20. And Brian took a whack, too. And he is tackled right at the 20 yard line, maybe shy of the 20. And that's where the Four Stills Rangers offense will come out onto the field trailing. That's Holman. Holman 14 Gindlesberger. Tremendous effort tonight. First and 10 for the Rangers. They throw a flare in the five on the sideline. It is complete. And he's going to try to get to the sideline. He's knocked out of bounds uh, by Mike. Rangers need to get a fast score to get back into the football. Under center, throws the sideline pass. And it's caught by Miner. And he's got enough for another first down. He's turning Miner. And he's 
three yard line by the McCourt secondary. First down. They'll, they'll have to learn the schools in the area here. Of course, it's, it's still a good thing, though. I think that's a wonderful decision for Johnston. No more longer road trips for them. They play the local teams in the area. It should be very interesting to see. The is right back there. to pass, and he has no one to throw to. Just dumps it. And it Let them come in with Central Martinsburg and Bishop Carroll. Yeah, it's a win-win. Bishop win. Carroll had a schedule problem last year, so it's a win-win-win for right. everybody. And it strengthens the conference, and it's going to just make it a lot more fun for everybody. So that's a wise decision. Welcome to Johnstown to the Laurel Highlands. Here is a pass complete to Blyden. And again, he's just going to go down the sideline. Of course, playing a softness into the game, and one running back. Minor and Bryden will be the wide receiver split to the opposite sides of Catalan. Katonic with the throw, and it is complete to Minor, and Homan fell down. Homan so fell down. Minor is going to keep on his feet. There's a flag down, and Minor's going to go for the touchdown. Homan slipped and fell flag on the play, and of course, there's a celebration. It's coming back. So, hold him up. Tonic is rolling, he's going to keep it himself. The ball comes out as he is hit hard. It's rolling on the carpet, and the court crusher falls on it. So the. Well, he got nailed hard on that play. The ball went back five yards. Kedlawick has really been a tough customer tonight. Breathing room now as they do get the score, and they are trailing 17 to 6 with 431. Denny, you did say that. There's still lots of time, and it doesn't look like it's right because right. Four Steel's lining up for the onside kick. No, they do a pooch punt instead. And Trey will take it to the 20-yard line. He's got some running room. He's going to have a hole up the middle as he makes a cut and a move, and he's finally tackled at the 45-yard line. He does a good job holding on to it. football, right. And I tell you, Trey did a good decision there. He had 10 at their, it's called the 44-yard line. Joe Arcurio is under center, two wide receivers, and the running back is Gelman. He's going to get the football. And he just gets a gain, maybe one, about a half yard, so it'll be second down, and we'll call it a uh, long nine. Football. Pressure's pick up the first down here. It's pretty much be it. Uh. Curio with uh, Shrey now as his running back. Here's Hawkins in motion. Andy Hawkins. And a pitch is to Shrey. He gets the football, and he is going to get up to the... Pass midfield up to the Forest Hills 47 yard line, short of the first down, but a gain of about seven. Well, we'll give him six on that. Good execution by the quarterback on that. three yards Coaching staff tonight has done a great job getting the ball in the hands of the most dependable players. Really? Without a doubt. Compliment uh, Kenny Salem and the offense, and the, the coaches, for a great job tonight. As they hand off to Pat Trey as he's trying to dig for the first down and he gets knocked out of bounds right at the yard. Yeah, let's see how they spot this now. It's, the court really has had the number so far on the first day. Big turnaround from the 80 or the early yes. 90s, right? Ball is snapped into Moncos. High kick. Finally to the sideline is taken by Miner at the 10 yard line. He's going to jitter bug around and dance to get up to the 19. Of course, they did get it before. Now that is concerned. Let's see what the Rangers come up with. First you know they're going to be looking at the They do it because, one, they're good at it, and they enjoy it. They've done a fine job tonight. Well, they enjoy their job, like we enjoy ours, though. As they pass down the sideline, the Brides are going to try and break it and get to the outside. Nice the top row. Gets a 14. Yeah. Injured in the yeah, Hawkins in is now back right into right. the game, yeah. taking his place. First and ten for the Rangers. And here's the tonic. He slips and then he throws a bullet down the field. Nobody there but Pat Rain. It goes over his head. Next Saturday. Here is the tonic. Looking to throw, and he's going to run. He had no one to throw to. He just ducks it and runs, and he gets a gain of three. But Lala really is a tough go game. right around. Watch out for the Panthers. Rushers play them last game of the season now. Yeah. Down the point. The schedule. Here's the pass. It's complete to Bryden. And he's trying to get enough for a first down. He does dig it. He breaks two tackles and he is looking desperation time right now. They have the football at their own 43 yard line. First and 10, but only 121 remaining on the clock, and they trail by a bunch. Rushers have tightened that cushion up a little bit. Kalalik with the uh, pump and then the throw down the sideline, and it is uh, two left. We're nailing them up the middle. So this kid got it from all ends tonight. Kalalik. But he hung in there well. Kalalik, I think, is, he's a sophomore, right? I think he's going to have some better days. Here as they pass down the sideline, and it is caught. 
That was a fine pass. And coming up with the reception is uh, number 80. The football to stop the clock. To see if they do that. They line up, and he does spike the football. Quick to the opposite sides. And the running back back for the Rangers. Here's Cutlock. He slips again. Then he pumps. He's thrown to the end zone. He's looking for Bryden. It's too far. And we might have a flag. We will. We're gonna so the Rangers get a break there on the call. And here is Kudlawik back to pass again. This time he's going to throw it to the end zone. Long pass, and it's too far. It's out of the end zone. Cooler. Too much done on that. Coming up. Still 50 seconds. And here is Kudlawik back under center. He's looking for the end zone again. This time he's going to throw a screen. It is caught to Arnold, and he's knocked out of bounds, but there is a flag, and this time... This time he is back in the pocket. He has time. He throws another long pass, and this is hit too long. Falls incomplete. Nobody's open in the end. Third down now in 15. Kudlawik is looking for a pass, and he does complete the minor, and there's a flag on the play, and minor's tackled at the five. To get back and try to get back into this foot. Looking things over, as he'll get under center now. It's going to be first and goal from the five. There's a pass to the end zone. It's complete. And it's a touchdown. Where is it? Yeah, it's a good touchdown. Okay. The official I saw the official signal too. I think he was waving. He's out of bounds. So he's at the 12 yard line now. Oh, okay. Second down and goal from the one. And the quarterback, keeper. And does he get into the end zone? It is a touchdown now. Now it comes with a few seconds off the clock. Like you said, there was time left in the football game. Kudlawik is looking to throw to the end zone. It's tipped away by the court defender. Linebacker comes up and gets a paw on that. That was Alan Homan. Nice play. He did a good job to bat it down. So the uh, extra uh, 17 to 12. We'll be back after this 30-second timeout for the final. So the Rangers trailing 17 to Joe Arcurio's up there. He's in the second line, believe it or not. He's in the second line here. We'll see what the Rangers do with the onside kick. The ball is on the tee, though. Well, he's set. going to the left. You can tell that. They got to be ready. Here comes the onside kick. It's a two-line drive kick. It bounces, and now it's covered up by Bishop Report. We'll see if they come up with it. That was an awfully hard, hard kick. For him. Yeah. That was a little awfully hard uh, onside kick. Just a yeah. little too far. Didn't bounce in the air or nothing where they could remember. It was just on the ground. And, uh, so the court covers the onside kick and well, actually one twice here, two out of three on the, on the home on on the road. Yeah, how many teams have done that? Uh, not many. Not, not many. And this is still a fine football. I still think Forest Hills is a fine football team, Denny. They're going to win a lot. They're going to get better games. as the season goes along. Yeah. So Joe Arcuri is going to bring up to the line of scrimmage. You're going to line up in the victory formation. Everybody loves to see that. As Joe is just going to take the snap. Put the knee down and he's going to pull it and go into the Bucks as a victory for Bishop McCourt to start off the season. Seven seconds remaining, and all they have to do now is shake the hands, and it is it. That is the end of the high school football game tonight. Bishop McCourt throws and pressures. Rangers by a score of 17 to 12. We'll have some final stats for you and thoughts coming up next here on Sports.